Hey everybody, Doggy798 here. This is my review of my brand new Xbox 360, which I got for my birthday Thursday. Thursday from my um mom. I said I would get um the Xbox 360 or the PS3 or the Wii or well or the, the PS3 or the 360 when the prices went down. When the prices went down, the price finally went down. I wish it was 150, but 179.99, which is how much my Xbox 360 costs, was um was good enough. You know, I preferred 150, but they finally cut the price in half. They finally cut the price in half, and video games now are even cheaper than they were three um three years ago. Three years ago, so um. I finally got the Xbox um 360. I also um meant to get the Xbox 360 a long time ago, and I never did because I didn't think it would work on um my television. But I said to myself, um, if it doesn't work on this television, then I can just up I can just already have the system and upgrade the new and upgrade to the new television when I can. But of course, my uncle actually told me who who specializes in the latest technology. My uncle actually told me that the television I have right here is actually um is actually best for playing video games and I did read read up on something about consoles burning the screen of those plasma TVs so this TV right here old TV right here is actually great for the Xbox 360 and when I hooked it up much to my surprise it worked I didn't think the plugs in the back would actually work but of course they did work for the new HD box I have so um Maybe it would work for a 360, and they did, and this 360 works out of the box. This 360, this Xbox 360, um, is awesome. Before I get to the console, though, gonna get to the games. Of course, really don't care much about the whole 7th, 8th generation thing, console war. I only wanted, um, I only wanted the, um, a 360 or PS3, PS3, to play... Mortal Kombat vs. DC, Street Fighter 4, and Prototype 1 and 2. I was originally going to get Prototype 1 and 2 for PC, but one thing I hate about PC games is that a lot of the PC games, especially games from the action genre, Microsoft has a habit of making games, making, instead of making full flesh PC games, they have a habit of making um, Xbox 360 games into PC disc, but when you put it in, it's still the Xbox 360 game. And of course, you need a, either a controller or you need patches to get the game stable. To get the game stable, and um, and I'm sick of doing that, so I decided just just get a 360 for the Xbox 360. Just get a 360 or a PS3, PS3. And of course, one of the reasons I chose a 360 over the PS3, this, besides the fact that the 360 was cheaper, was of course, um, well, right now I'm, I'm, I'm all about the action. I'm all about the action. Street Fighter 4, Mortal Kombat vs. DC, um, The King of Fighters. I think it was 12 or 13. Um, um, Street Fighter uh, vs. Tekken. Um, Mortal Kombat. Um. Nah, you know that game sucks. Green Lantern, Rise of the Manhunters, Batman Arkham Asylum. This new game I just recently discovered called Anarchy Reign. So many awesome um action and um fighting fighting games is the main reason is um the main reason I got um the Xbox 360. But the main reason I got a 360, of course, was of course the the exclusive the Gears of War trilogy. Of course, I think all the fighting and action games I just named are better than Gears of War, but I also like the Gears of War, um, um, Gears of War games. Been a huge fan of those since the, I saw a GameStop trailer for those years ago. So, um, yeah, um, right there, um, what just right there, there's the, um, there's the, um, three, uh, si there's the three, um, sixty, there's I mean, so there so there that right there is the games. Here are the games I bought. Like I said, which I just got done talking about. The first one was Super Street Fighter Four. Yeah, I know. I hate the, I hate the, I hate. I, I I bought this at GameStop. The only thing I hate about shopping at GameStop is that 
they always give me the GameStop power up case instead of the actual Street Fighter 4 case. But um, at least the game actually works. But yeah, I got Super Street Fighter 4. Chose to get Super Street Fighter 4, of course, because they had Guy and Cody and Yun and Yang. Um, and Seth playable. The boss character on playable. You don't know how happy I was in back in 2008 when I saw the Street Fighters back in a brand new canon story game. Can story field on um, game. The last game they were in was of course Street Fighter 2 the anniversary game. That was just an anniversary. That was awesome, but that was mostly just an anniversary game with Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo and, Super and Street Fighter 3 the Third Strike. And of course, Capcom Fighting Evolution, which of course is the spiritual successor to Capcom vs. SNK2 without the SNK characters. So, um, this, but this right here was the first canon game. You know how happy I was? I, I, uh, they were back, man. I'm gonna, salute, I'm gonna talk about this more in salute and in a future, um, review. But I've been playing this game like crazy, and this game is awesome and exciting, man. The next one, of course, is Mortal Kombat DC. When I saw this, just like with Street Fighter 4, I've been waiting for the, what was the, supposed to be the sequel to Mortal Kombat Armageddon. And instead of a sequel, I got something just as good. I got Mortal Kombat vs. DC. And, and even though this was mostly just a, um, this was a desperate attempt to get some badly needed cash from Midway who were going bankrupt at the time, I love the work they put into this game. The, the Mortal Kombat that came after this, which everyone loves so much, in my opinion, that game kind of sucked. I'm still going to get that game in the future because it's Mortal Kombat, but I thought that game sucked. They put no effort into it. They put really no effort into it. I'm going to talk about that more in another video, but this game right here is one of the best, in my opinion, most underrated games of the seventh generation, man. The graphics, the gameplay, the larger-than-life comic book gameplay, and I love the comic book storyline, and Unlike Marvel vs. Capcom, where they just threw a bunch of characters together, this this with some half-assed story, this this game right here actually has a reason the Mortal Kombat and DC characters are coming together, coming together, and has a um and the special edition was special edition of this game came with an actual comic book, but um yeah right here I've been playing this game also um like crazy I'm almost actually finished with it. I'm also going to talk about this more in a salute and review of uh, Mortal Kombat vs. DC. The next game, the next game is Prototype. Prototype. This game, of course, this game and its sequel, which I'm about to talk about, this game is the spiritual successor to the Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction game for the PlayStation 2, which, of course, Gave which of course the Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction for those of you who don't know was so popular that it helped fund it helped fund the the eventual sequel which became the reboot of the Incredible Hulk which is part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe but this game is also the rival to the PlayStation 3 exclusive Infamous I love Infamous but Prototype owns them. I think I think Prototype was a much better game, even though I think Infamous has better graphics. But I thought Prototype, when it came to gameplay, was uh, much better. You can do so much. You can punch, kick. W when you get infected with the virus, which is what this game is about, is about a um, is about a violent virus outbreak and lots of people get infected and become monsters and the main character Alex Mercer also gets infected with the virus and gets all these different powers like being able to disguise himself as different people gaining superhuman strength being able to jump in the air and jump on the ground and smash the ground um jump, pick up tanks and throw them at people um punch tanks jump way in the air and dive on tanks, drop kick and elbow tanks. It's just awesome. It's just an awesome um game. Run up buildings and walls, run up buildings and walls, jump off of buildings without get without dying or getting hurt like in other games. Just such an awesome um just such an awesome game. I'm gonna talk more about this and its story in a future salute and review of this game. The next game of course is its sequel. Prototype 2. This game is came out actually recently, two years ago. 
um, this game, I, I immediately wanted this game when I saw that awesome live action trailer of of um, James Heller, the main protagonist of this game, the guy you see on the cover, and Alex Mercer, the main antagonist of the film and the protagonist of the first game, coming together, ready to fight with Johnny Cash's Hurt playing in the background. And I've been playing this game. This game is um just as awesome. This game is just as awesome as the first one. This game adds some God of War elements to the um God of War elements to the game. Also update the updates the graphics a little. The first one looks like a PlayStation 2 game, which they had to do the they had to sacrifice the graphics for that intense for the over the top intense gameplay I was talking about. This one has a uh, much updated graphics and God of War style stuff, and also James Heller. Only disappointment is he's not as powerful as Mercer was in the first game. You can't elbow tanks when you fight tanks. You have to punch them or get on top of them and stomp them. Stomp them. Um. Stomp. Stomp them. Whereas in the last game, you can jump. You can drop kick and you can jump way in the air and drop kick and elbow onto top of tanks. But this game right here is awesome. And both of these games are underrated, man. This game, this game, when it came out, it sold well, but it didn't sell, it didn't do as well as they hope. And the game, the development of the game and the poor sales of the game caused his company, Radical Entertainment, to not be able to make games anymore. They're doing something else now. They're only, they only can support um, stuff now. I keep forgetting what they're doing now, but they can no longer make games. So there was never any follow-ups or any um, spin-offs or any other stuff in this game. This game also spawned um, comics, which I would like to get my hands on. But I'll talk more about these, its characters, the plot, the gameplay, and all that stuff in a future Salute review of this game. Alright, these were, of course, my video games. Now, here comes the Xbox. Alright. Right there, there's my Xbox um, 360, and um, let me try something right quick. And of course, that's the sign-in screen. You can't really see well. I probably should get a better camera for this in the future. But yeah, there's the sign-in screen right there. There's the sign-in screen right there. And um, yeah. Uh, so um, yeah. That's the. There's the um. So yeah, there right there, right there was the 360. So um yeah, so far the 360 works well. Um the Xbox Live, all that stuff is good. Surprisingly, I thought all that stuff would be a hassle. But um yeah, so um yeah, there, there, right there there was my um Xbox um 360 um the next console I'll get is a Wii, but um yeah, I've just been playing this Xbox like crazy, man. And uh, it's exciting and it has instantly become one of my all-time favorite consoles. Alright, um, dog out.